everybody. Welcome to the episode one of the new series for the Premiere 2024 uh, tutorials. This first episode, we are going over the splash screen. When you first load Premiere Pro, you get this nifty splash screen here. I know somebody told me it wasn't a splash screen. I don't care what it's cared, uh, called. I have always called it a splash screen, and I'm going to continue calling it that. Anyway, so this is pretty simple uh, as far as the th items that we have on here. Uh, to create new projects or to open previous projects, you have your new project and your open project up here in the top left-hand corner. If you have been working on previous projects in Premiere Pro, and as long as uh, the hard drives are connected that you had those projects on, it's going to recognize those and it's going to bring them up as recently uh, loaded projects. You can just click on these and it will click quickly load that project that you're working on. Just like that. And there we go, my project's been successfully loaded. Let's close that and reopen this. Yeah, so this will have a list of the recent, uh, recently opened projects that you've been working on uh, that you can quickly just open them up by clicking on them. So also, if you are starting a new project, you can just go up here and click on New Project, and that will start a new project. It's going to ask you two things. It's going to ask you what you want to name your project and where you want to position that. My next episode is just going to be based on creating new projects and, set projects and setting up a new project. So let's go back. I'm going to hit the Home button here, and that takes you back to Home. And that's actually what this does here. If you go into the Learn page down here, it brings up all these kind of learning tutorials that you can play through, but you don't need to watch those because I'm doing that for you. I'm just kidding. They're there's some good stuff down here you can look through. It has these little video clips explaining how to do certain functions within Premiere. But at home will just take you back to this home page right here. If you hit open project, that's going to open up your finder if you're on a Mac or your Explorer on Windows, which is basically the same thing. And you can go through your you can go through your folders and find a project file that you want to open and just click open and it will open that project for you. I'm going to go up and hit file and we're going to close project here. And we're going to go back to our main screen here. So then the other items down here is open team project and new team project. So this is kind of the same as new project and open project up here, but these are for team projects. And this is kind of cool. I'm going to have all of a tutorial on this in the future where we show how to do work a, a team project, uh, especially if you're connected, interconnected within a studio or online, uh, you can start a new project and it will show who is doing what. If you have an editor, have somebody that's doing sound mixing within Premiere, somebody who's doing color grading or assistant editors, you can have everybody working on the same project at the same time and it shows who's changing what real time basically, which is really nice so you don't like undo somebody else's work. Uh, but open team project will find a project file that is a team project file and open that up. And then down here we have open Premiere Rush projects. If you're using Adobe, if you're using Premiere Rush, Rush is an app that you can use on your phone or on a tablet or something like that. If you're out shooting footage with your phone or if you're shooting things on a tablet, or if you have a way of reading media off of like a USB drive on your tablet and you're editing footage that you're shooting out in the field, uh, that way you don't have to have a laptop with you or a computer with you. If you do some quick editing in the field on that, on that tablet or on your phone, you can open it up in Premiere Pro and Premiere Pro will convert it into a Premiere Pro project from the Rush project. Last thing is this get started button right here. What this will do is it'll basically open up the learning layout inside of Premiere, but this will change from time to time as they add new features to Premiere. This is to highlight brand new features within the software here. And then it gives you lessons on how to use that new feature. So if we hit get started, it's going to put us under the learning layout. And up here, you'll have a video playing. And this has, this is video one of six. This will have six pages that you can go through teaching you how to use. In this instance, it's the new uh, text-based editing, which is actually really cool. It's, it's a new AI feature where it transcribes very, quite accurately dialogue. It'll transcribe a narration, it'll transcribe interviews into a whole bunch of text that you can just basically go through and highlight the text and delete it, and it does the editing for you, which is really, really cool. So that's one of the new features that Premiere has added there. And one of the cool things about these tutorials is they add the assets uh, down inside the project that you can use uh, with which to, to learn this process here. So these, so they have a couple interview clips here you can drop down inside your timeline and highlight the clips and then go up to the text window here and it will show you the transcription. This has already done the transcription for you, but then it'll uh, you can highlight these and it will teach you how to do this. If you delete that text right there, it deletes it out of your timeline automatically, even little chunks of text as well, which is kind of cool. But anyway, so that's it for this flash screen. Uh, next episode, I will be going through uh, how to set up a new project and everything you need to know about that. So if you have any questions or comments, post them below and thanks for watching.